Hello everyone, it's Glenda and welcome back to my channel, Creative Grandma. Today's video is all about Lion Brand's local grown 100% USA wool. Now I'm trying to bring this video to you today and trying to get it on because this yarn is on sale today for 30% off and that's a very good savings. The sale ends tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. and then that sale is over. So let me tell you about the yarn and then you can make your own decision if you want to try this yarn. So this is local grown 100% USA wool. This yarn is 100% American made from sheep raised and shorn in the USA to a mill that dyes and spins the final product. Now this wool yarn is great for many types of projects from garments to wearable accessories to home decor and blankets. And like all wool yarns, local grown possesses a natural elasticity that helps retain the item's shape after many uses. So I have a sample that I washed that I can show you, and I also have a sample that I was trying to stitch up a design and create something, so you can see that as well and get an idea of what it looks like when it's worked up. So let's go over all the information on the label. Again, it's local grown, 100% USA wool. It comes in a 3.5 ounce, 100 gram, 186 yards, 170 meters. It's classified as a number four medium weight yarn. It's 100% USA wool. It's hand wash, lay flat to dry. Now it also says make sure to match the dye lot numbers if you're making a project. Now some yarns don't have dye lots, some yarns do, so make sure you read the fine print and purchase enough yarn for your project. Now the first color here that I'm showing you is Cherry Blossom, color 101BP. It's not a silky soft yarn, it's not super soft, it has a little bit I'm not sure how to explain it. It just has a totally different feel than acrylic yarns. And I have to be the first one to admit that I'm not used to using a lot of natural fibers. I grew up in an era where the only yarns I could get were the acrylics. And I'm just now learning about natural fibers in the last few years. Slowly but surely, I'm learning. And this is something you too will learn as you increase your skills in crocheting or knitting. You'll learn more about the natural fibers as you go. And there's probably other channels out there that are really more knowledgeable in the natural fibers like the 100% USA wool. But I'm going to give you my opinion. I did enjoy working with it. I wasn't used to the feel, but I did like the results I got. So let me show you the colors and then I'll show you the sample I made that I washed. And then I'll show you the samples I was just playing around with. So again, that's my first color, and that was color Cherry Blossom, color 101BP. The next color of the local grown 100% USA wool I chose was the Hickory. This is color 122AA, just a beautiful brown color, and if you put that Cherry Blossom next to the brown, I thought those two went well together. Now the next color, the skein doesn't have as much yarn in it because the next three colors I did use for my samples. So this color is Sagebrush, color 178AJ. So when you put these three together, I thought they went well together and all the colors in this line go beautifully together. So the next color I have to show you is Vanilla Bean, color 098AX, and this is more on the lines of an Aran or an Ekrut color. So that's what it looks like with the other colors. And then the last color I have to show you is Blue Jeans. This is color 105AW, so let me show you all five of those colors together. So those are the five colors. So for my sample, I decided to use these three colors here just to give you an idea of what it looks like. So let me grab my first sample. 
So here is my little sample. I was just messing around and made a little crocheted block. You can see how pretty the stitch definition is. And then I hand washed it and I laid it flat on a towel to dry. Now it did take a little longer to dry than I thought it would. It took about two days for this to really dry nice and dry. But I love the results and I thought it had a little bit softer feel after I washed it. Now when you wash and dry your project, make sure you're following those instructions because if you use hot water, this could felt and then it's gonna have a totally different look. So make sure that you're hand washing in cold water and lay flat to dry. So let me grab my next sample. So this is my next sample. I do have a little bit of a wave in it because I had this folded in half in the bag. So when you look at this sample, this was not washed. This was just something I was playing around with for a design with some different textured stitches. So you can see the beautiful stitch definition of this block. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to turn this into an afghan or not. I made it with this color, and then I was going to reverse the colors. Now, it has an extra round here because I was playing around. This is what you do when you design. You just make little samples up. You keep playing around with them, adding or subtracting. And then I thought, well, I'd like it to be a little more colorful. So until you make more blocks to see if you're going to see the visual effect of changing the colors, not sure if I was going to like it or if I wanted more color in it. So give me your thoughts of what you think. If you think this would look good as an afghan, if I should use all the same color and just put the blocks together like this, or if I should reverse the colors, or maybe I should use two different colors entirely with the cream, keep the cream as the focal point and just change the colors and make it more colorful or use even more colors and just make each block a different color. Give me your thoughts on what you think because sometimes when you design other people's opinion can make you think about something that you might not have thought about before. So I did notice that after I washed my little sample that it had a little bit softer feel and better drape. So this block after I wash it should have this effect. I'm not sure if it's picking it up on camera. This is a little stiffer. And then after you wash it, look at how beautiful this looks. I laid it flat to dry. It just has a beautiful look. It has nice soft drape. And then this one's just a little bit stiffer. So once this is washed, it's going to have the softer look and feel to it. So let me show you the other colors that are available on Lion Brand's website. So I'm over on my computer, I'm on the Lion Brands website, and if you go clear up here to this blue bar, it's going to tell you that you can get 30% off yarns and kits and no code necessary. Offer ends and then it has a countdown clock. Now this is saying 24 hours from now, this sale is over. So by the time I get this video online, this clock is even going to be less time to get this yarn. So when you look here, you're going to see where it says local grown, $17.99, and it's crossed off, and right now it's only $12.59. So first, let's go ahead and look at all the colors available, and then I'll show you some of the patterns that were made with the local grown yarn. So the first color is the vanilla bean that I already showed you. The second color is the cherry blossom that I showed you. So let me zoom up just a little bit more so you can see these colors. That's the cherry blossom. Then we have the blue jean, bluegrass, Liberty, which looks to me like it's a navy color on my screen. Apple pie, I thought was gorgeous if you have some Christmas projects you want to make. Hickory, barn is a beautiful brown. Maple, quail, beetroot, mustang, which to me looks like a dusty black. Moss, sagebrush, and lilac. Now, when you're on Lion Brand's local grown yarn home page, if you scroll down, you're going to see where it says inspiration right here, if you can see my mouse, 
and then it's going to say patterns made with local grown and kits made with local grown. So let's review the patterns made with the local grown yarn. So on the top line you're going to see a knit pullover and I'll put a link directly to the homegrown yarn home page and you can click that link see all the colors for yourself and then if you click this link here you're going to go to the patterns it says patchwork lapgan that's a crocheted pattern a crocheted pillow and a crocheted houndstooth scarf so the next line you're going to see a knit gingham throw how about a pair of crocheted fingerless gloves ear flap hats that's a knit pattern crocheted chalet mittens that's a pretty pattern go to the next line and they have a crocheted chalet hat a knit cable pillow a knit cable baby sweater and look at this american flag sweater that's a knit pattern I have to pull that up. I just thought that was so cute. And then when you go back to the homegrown home page, you can click right under patterns made to kits made with local grown. So when I look at the kits, I see a kit for a crocheted boho pocket vest, a crochet kit for an easy breezy shawl, a crochet kit for a plaid scarf wrap, a crochet kit for a Sullivan cow, scroll down and then there's a crochet kit for the Ellington Infinity Scarf and a knit kit for the Haddington Cow. So now I'm back on the Local Grown homepage one more time. There's just one more thing I wanted to show you. When you go to the homepage, you're going to see underneath Local Grown Yarn up here, it's going to say three reviews. It has a five star rating. Now it's only three reviews because it's a new yarn. And then you scroll down and you can read the reviews. Because there's only three, I'm going to go ahead and read them. The first one is not just great for fooling. You will love this wool if you like all things natural. The colors are gorgeous. The spun is even. It is not as soft as merino, but has a great hand that I think will do well for cardigans, shawls, blankets, and such. I put the yarn to the test because I wanted to see if it fools well, and sure enough, it does. Now, it does say read more. So if you don't want it fooled, definitely hand wash and lay flat to dry. But if you want to fool it for coasters, hot pads, table runners, bags, and such, I just threw mine in the laundry with towels and jeans and ran it through regular cycle. It come out nicely fooled, which I'm not sure what fooled means. Does that mean felted? And I let it air dry to shape. I made this fall candle holder with maple and moss. Did I say that I love all the colors? Summary, if a good wool is what you are looking for, I can highly recommend Local Grown. Now remember, these are other people's reviews, not just mine. The next one is from Teresa, and she says, Great wool yarn, very soft and easy to crochet. We'll probably buy more. The next one is from Zale. It says, Lovely yarn. I'm very pleased with this yarn. I'm particularly happy with the smooth, elastic texture. A joy to work up. It also has a soft feel and a nice drape. Go American Wool Producers. So that is just three reviews and what I recommend to people if it's a new yarn that you have never tried before, then I always like to suggest just buy one skein. See if you like it. And then if you like it, you can always wait until the yarn goes on sale again to save yourself money. But this is a great opportunity at 30% off to at least try one skein. Now, if you're used to wool, then this is a fantastic time to stock up when it's 30% off. Now, I want to remind everyone this video is just for information purposes, and it's my opinion only. You may have a different opinion than mine, and that's okay, because that's what makes the world go round. If we all like the same thing, then there wouldn't be a variety in the yarn market. So make sure you check out other videos on YouTube. Check out other reviews before you decide to make that purchase if you're unsure. And then that way you get more opinions about the yarn and not just mine. So I hope this video has got you inspired to maybe try a new yarn and get out of your comfort zone. You may find out that you're really going to like it. So until next time, stay inspired and happy crocheting.